What's up, everybody? It's your girl, July, here with Youth on Record. And right now, I'm going to show you the basic anatomy of Soundtrap. Just the basics. Not going to get into every detail, but we'll just go over everything you need to know in the immediate future to mess around in Soundtrap. The first feature you need to know about is, of course, the home page. This is what Soundtrap looks like when you log in. So you'll have Enter Studio, and this will get you into a new project. If you're like me and you work with a lot of other people on Soundtrap, then you also have invites. And these are invites that I got last month and even in January. I'm not sure why they aren't accepted. So I'll just go ahead and hit accept all on those. Underneath that, I have my projects. And these include every project I've ever worked on in Soundtrap unless I deleted it very unorganized so I suggest you make sure you title your tracks. Assuming you don't have any projects we're going to go ahead and enter the studio. You'll get two options under new project. You'll either be able to click on music or podcast. If you're making a music project you will click on music. If you're recording vocals only and you're talking or you're doing some sort of podcast-esque project, then you'll click on this. Under the Demos tab, you'll have access to a few demos. So let's see what it looks like to have a blank project. We'll click on Podcast. Now down here, you'll notice a few buttons. We have a volume knob. This will allow us to turn our volume up and down. We also have a time marker. Now this is linked to this marker up here. So this is like the exact time that you're on in the timeline. And that's what this is called up here. It's a timeline. Next to this, you have a record button. This comes in handy when you want to record into Soundtrap. You also have a stop button for when you want to stop recording or stop playing. You can also go back. This is the play button. And this is the fast forward button. All right, now again, we're just going over the basics. If you want to add a new track, then you can hit this plus button up here, or you can hit add new track up here in the timeline area. From here, you can select whether or not you want to use a voice, a microphone to record yourself. You can select a piano, guitar, bass, and these will all be instrument tracks, which will allow you to program your own melodies, harmonies, chords, and drum patterns, all of the above, so on. The list goes on probably forever. Up here, you'll see some very familiar settings or some very familiar options, file, edit, settings. The most important thing you need to recognize is save, always save your project. And even before you save it, make sure you name it because if you don't name it, you won't know what it was called. So I'll just call this Sound Trap Basics 1. Now those are the most basic fundamentals of Sound Trap. This is the transport area, play, stop, record. Now in the next video, we'll get into how to record tracks.